We're gonna sew down the collar of this shirt. So we already cut off the collar to make it a little lower. Um, there's a video on how to do that. So now what we're gonna do is start at one of the shoulder seams. And you just wanna roll this over twice, just by the shoulder seam. Like that. So I like to start right behind the big seam there. Take a threaded needle and come up from the bottom to the top of the fabric. And then go down. And then you can come up on the other side of the shoulder seam. So securing the shoulder seam in place first is really good to do. So now you're gonna do what is called a whip stitch. So keep that fabric rolled over twice. And a whip stitch looks really pretty and it's really great for curved collars. So what you do is go into the fabric at one place and then come out diagonally. So we're starting in the top right and we're coming out of the bottom left. And pull that tight and you'll see there's a straight line of thread there and then it comes out here. So then we'll go up again straight up and then come out diagonally. And just keep rolling the fabric as you go. Straight up from where you came out and then diagonally. And you can see what kind of stitches it's making. So they look really pretty and they're really great for curved collars because the fabric can kind of wiggle in these stitches better than it can in a straight running stitch. So again, I'm just gonna do that all the way around the collar. On the other side, it looks cool. It's these diagonal lines, and you could also do that on the top if you wanted. But we're gonna keep it like this for now. Thanks for watching.